Over 1,000 Yoruba women in diaspora visit Oni, insist on Yoruba nation. Hello, my beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to our channel. God bless you. The agitation of um, a Yoruba nation, Odudua Republic, is still uh, is gaining momentum despite the fact that um, from different quarters within the southwest, um, they've, um, they've, they've had divisions, a lot of uh, uh, monarchs, and governors have not supported this move for um, Odudua nation. They are still pushing on. Over 1,000 Yoruba women stormed the palace of the Oni of Ife. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Press the bell as well. God bless you. Not less than 1,000 Yoruba women from Uruguay, Argentina, Mexico, United Kingdom, Papua Guinea, Venezuela, Spain, France, and other countries on Wednesday visited the Oni of Ife. His Imperial Majesty Oba Adeyeye Enita Ogunwansi Ojaja, the second in his palace to express themselves on the need for the Yoruba nation. The Oni, on his response, maintained that our struggle for self-determination cannot materialize without women's support. As one of the strongest pillars of the agitation, Professor Banji Akintoye also said that the visit symbolizes a declaration showing the departure of Yoruba land from Nigeria. The women under the ages of Obin, Obinri, Odua Agbaye, dressed with traditional ri ritual attires consisting of white body wrappers and beads, all from the diaspora, numbering about 1,000, stormed the palace of the Oni of Ife, Oba Enita Adeyeye Ogunsi on Sunday the 11th of April 2021 demanding that it is either self-determination or nothing for the Yoruba nation. Led by their worldwide leader Princess Yeye Simishade Kuku Onayemi and their Secretary General Dr. Owomumi Babalola Okocha, the women said the gods in Yoruba land have mandated them to commence spiritual measures that will lead to the prompt actualization of Yoruba nation without bloodshed, hence their visit to their fatherland. Omar Wumi, a resident of the United States, flanked by other Yoruba women from 37 countries such as Canada, Argentina, Uruguay, Mexico, United Kingdom, Papua Guinea, Venezuela, Spain, France, amongst others, said the gods mandated them to conduct some spiritual measures in the palace of Oni of Ife, Alafi of Oyo, Osemawe of Ondo, Ewi of Adoekiti, Obaru of Kaba, Ayagbure of Ikorudu, Olofa of Ofa, and Awajale of Ijebu land, respectively. The women added that the outcome of the spiritual measures, which cannot be discussed in public, shall unravel many things that will help towards the peaceful and prompt actualization of Yoruba nation. All of us that you are seeing here today are top-notch professionals. We have medical doctors, lawyers, chartered accountants, engineers, development experts, journalists, academic dons, top bankers, and entrepreneurs among us. The majority of us are working a blue ship public and private organization. Simishade Kuku Onayemi, the worldwide leader of the women, declared. She said, they are contented with what they have but are not happy with the situation of things in their fatherland. Hence, they are coming out to savage their land in a Yoruba way. Corroborating her leader, Omowumi Babalola Okocha said, Upon consultations, we were mandated by gods to visit the palaces of Oni of Ife, Alafi of Oyo, Ose Mawe of Ondo, Ewi of Adoekiti, Ayangbure of Ikorodu, Olofa of Ofa, Obaro of Kaba, and Awujale of Ijebu land to carry out some spiritual measures that we cannot mention details in public, hence our VC to the Odudua source. When we are done with our consultations and prayers, the people of Yoruba nation shall be surprised at the rate by which the Yoruba nation shall come out into reality without any bloodshed. It shall be amazing and the world shall be shocked, Omowumi declared. In her brief remark, Yoruba leader and Alana of Ilana Omo Odua, Emeritus Professor Banji Akintoye, 
who led the women to Oni's palace, described the action of the women as a powerful declaration showing the departure of Yoruba land from Nigeria. The 87-year-old member of the Second Republic Senate said, Our women who gave birth to us have spoken. They have declared and heaven has heard. What they have started is a powerful declaration showing the departure of the Yoruba nation from Nigeria. It will be amazing and shocking by the time the declaration is made. Yoruba nation shall be buffered with the support of our women. Our freedom day is nearer, Akinto Ye said. Oni of Ife, in his response to the development, highlighted the importance of the women in Yoruba's strive for freedom, stating that the new twist to the agitation for self-determination is that women are now involved, which makes him very glad. Whatever you are doing that women are not involved cannot materialize. We are going nowhere if our women are not carried along and get involved. If you are married and your wife is not happy with you, it is not going to work well with you. Unless the woman is not fighting with you sincerely. Women are not timid. They are warriors. From the Holy Bible, we read how Deborah fought for our people and conquered. Moremi fought and delivered the people of ancient Ife from Igbomeku who were our deadly adversaries. Therefore, women are key to our struggle for self-determination and we must carry them along going forward. We we'll support our women and we are happy that they are taking up the battle and picking up the gruntlets. Again, I want to say very expressively that if we fail to have the support of our women, folks, we are going nowhere. Therefore, I welcome you to the source and I wish you well in your visits to other palaces in Yoruba nation, Oni declared. Other dignitaries at the palace during the visit included the national chairman of Ilana Omo, Odua, Professor Wale Adenira, University Don, Akin Ade Juwan, among others. This one is really getting interesting. It's getting interesting. Now, you know, um, this uh, Yoruba agitation, the Odudua Republic has suffered a lot of setback from Rotimi Akere Dolo stating that uh, um, Sunday Igbo, the Yoruba activists should stay clear. I wonder how he will be feeling when he sees um, all of this. Over 1,000 women in diaspora, they returned, they, they stormed the palace of um, the Oni of Ife and they made mention their intention that, you know what? We are ready for this. This is happening. It's now or never. It's now or never. And the, the interesting part is that they stated that uh, they, they, they came down for a purpose that they're about to carry out a, a spiritual function, which they will not uh, let out in the public. But once they are done, that everyone will know it, that that function, after that function, it will, uh, it will usher the Odudua nation into their promised land. They promise to visit other palaces as well interesting well guys let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye